Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. If you ask me, he looked like death warmed up. We're looking at Death Warmed Up, the first New Zealand film we've reviewed, which doesn't make a lot of difference, except for some of the dialogue. There's something bloody weird going on, mate. And it also stars Michael Hurst from Hercules, The Legendary Journeys, initially playing a schoolboy, with no more concession to the fact that he's 27 than to put him in short trousers. Hi, Michael. Michael sees an overacted argument between his father and his partner, mad Dr. Howell. I have no choice but to make you obsolete. Who have both been experimenting on young Michael, and his father now thinks enough is enough. <laughs> it's all right, Michael. <laughs> ah, what are you doing to me? Howell disagrees. <laughs> and hypnotizes Michael to kill his parents. No. No. Devastating stuff. Oh no, not the lamp too. Michael is put in an asylum where he remains for seven years. Sure, that seemed like a good idea at the time. It's a wonderful idea, Lucas. <laughs> Speaking of which, the passage of seven years on Michael is marked by his bleached hair and nothing else. I'm an innocent. He now takes a holiday with some friends to the island where Dr. Howell now runs a futuristic mental institution. <laughs> Look lively, girls. And where somehow he is also president. and seems to exert some sort of influence over the inhabitants, including this wildly ill-judged racial stereotype. Oh my god, ten pineapple fritters right away, Mr. Jackson said. On the boat over, Michael and his friend Lucas make some enemies. Somebody's pissing on their face. Now, in fairness, these aren't nice people. <laughs> I like the smell of blonde pussy in the morning. But. Michael and Lucas don't know this. Their only rationale for peeing on their van is... Have you checked the markings on that van? Yeah, I had a look. Something weird's going on. And it results in a fight. <laughs> which escalates on dry land. For peeing on my van. What do you know about the World War II tunnels? The purpose of the trip is to explore some Second World War tunnels. <laughs> and, if there's time, wreak a terrible vengeance on Dr. Howell. I've got a score to settle. Who has problems of his own. <laughs> The homicidal zombies he's creating for science aren't working. You bastard! I can't stand the pain! I know how you feel. And it turns out that the weirdos Michael and Friend got into a fight with are also zombies, apparently on day release. Uh, I don't feel too good. And following a bloody clash with them in the tunnels... Come on in, you bastard! <laughs> The lead zombie frees his comrades from the institution. That thing's gonna stop now. To get revenge. A breakout of psycho patients. We haven't got all the details yet, but apparently someone peed on their van. The tussle in the tunnels has also left one of the girls badly injured. <laughs> You're a bleeding comfort. No! No! She's dying, Michael! Don't you understand? The only medical facility on the island is the mental institution, which seems highly unlikely, but expecting logic now would be wildly optimistic. I don't want to hear any more of that shit. From here on, things get confusing. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 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 
There's a lot of running, a lot of fighting, and the injured genie... <laughs> Well, we'd already established she was going to die. She was going to be all right. She was going to make it. You couldn't have said that while she was still alive to hear it. Meanwhile, Michael confronts Dr Howell. <laughs> well, that was ridiculously easy and as satisfying as the we've run out of plot ending. <laughs> as far as I can see, Michael's on again, off again quest for vengeance is completely tangential. All the chaos, all the blood, all of his dead friends all stem from peeing on this guy's van. I'll get you. Begging one question. Michael, why? Michael, why? Dr Howell, why? All of it, why? I don't know what this movie's about. OK, you guys, you've made your point. As far as I'm concerned, this is a grim and apocalyptic warning about the dangers of public urination. You pissed on our van. Thanks for watching. For more on this film plus bonus reviews, join us on Patreon. Is peeing on someone's van the pettiest start to a revenge killing ever? If you know of any pettier films, let us know in the comments below. It's over! It hasn't even begun.